In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the three rod standards. On the Blackmagic camera, we have 15 millimeter lightweight rods spaced 60 millimeters apart and 85 millimeters from the center of the lens. Underneath that, we have our Bridgeplate 19 millimeter, which has 19 millimeter rods spaced 104 millimeters apart and 120 millimeters from the center of the lens. Now in our Red Epic camera, we have 15 millimeter lightweight rods like before, but underneath it, we have a Bridgeplate 15 millimeter studio. This bridge plate holds 15 millimeter rods, 100 millimeters apart, and 118 millimeters from the center of the lens. Now with the bridge plate 15 studio, I should note that there's a 17.25 millimeter offset. We build our rigs to accommodate the same rod standards for each camera, even though every camera body is different. So if we look at the GH4 with the YAG module, you can see that the DSLR 15 millimeter bracket is positioned in front of the camera, and that's so that you can accommodate the correct lens height for your 15 millimeter rods. The same is true for the Red Epic. You can see that there are 15 millimeter rods that are held in front of the camera so that the lens height is accurate with those rods as well. Now with the Blackmagic Cinema camera, we have our quick cage and base plate, and the rods are the same distance from the center of the lens, but since the camera body is short, the rods will actually pass through front to back. The same is true with the Sony A7S. You can see we have our quick cage DSLR and our base plate that holds 15 millimeter rods at the correct distance from the center of the lens. We build our accessories so that the bottom of the 15 millimeter base plate accepts a bridge plate directly. So you can see that our Red Epic camera has the bridge plate 15 studio underneath it, but we could interchange that with a 19 millimeter version if needed. The same is true for the GH4. Here you can see we have the 19 millimeter bridge plate, but the 15 studio version would work as well. If you have any questions about the rod standards, you can always reference the graphic on our webpage.